So today we're going to do the blend tool. And the blend tool is a lot of fun. So let's start out. Uh, first of all, let me open my swatches here and change my fill to a cyan. And we'll start out with a rectangle. Square, actually. There we go. Okay. And down here, we'll take and make an ellipse. And I'm going to change the color on that to cyan. Because I want to show you how this works. Okay, so I'm going to come here to the Blend tool. And if you double click on it, you will get the Blend options. And you have different choices. You can do smooth color, specified di distance, and specified steps. We're going to specify eight steps here and click on OK. And you can also get that by going to Object and Blend and Blend Options here. Okay. So let's select both of our objects. We'll go to the Blend tool. And you notice you get a little square with some lines behind it. And what we're going to do is put that little square over one of the anchor points. And I think I'll, I'll do this anchor point here and this bottom anchor point here. And you see what I get. It morphs. It morphs from the square shape into a round shape. But not only does it morph, but it changes color, too, as it goes along. Now, what is so neat about this is if you want to make a, say, a 10 color um, radiated colors, you could set up a new color group now and take each one of these colors and drag them into the group, and you would have lovely colors to choose from. Okay, I'm going to Control Z that to undo that. And this time I'm going to go on the center point. Ah, you see, you get a totally different look depending on which anchor point you are on. I'm going to go to Control Z again and undo that. And this time I'll do this anchor point and this anchor point. Looks pretty much the same because we used pretty much the same distance. Okay, so coming back here, I'll go up to the top again. And this time I'll come to this side. There we go. All right, so this is very nice. You've got your 10 objects here. And I want you to go to the Convert Anchor Point, which, of course, if you remember, is under the Pen Tool. And if we click on this anchor point here, whoops, there we go, we have to be right on it. And if I drag, you can see I can create now a curve or an arc. So that looks very good. And I can go to Object and Expand. And what that does is it breaks this up into individual objects. It's no longer anchored with that stroke. So now I can go with the Group Selection tool. And well, it, I have to deselect first. There we go. OK, so here you are. You have all your different colors here, and it's morphing. Isn't that fun? All right, so you can do a lot of things with this. You can also 
do this with a gradient mesh. And I'll go to the gradient mesh here. And um, I'm going to make a circle. And here's my gradient mesh. And I'll come to the gradient tool. And, oh, let me open up my gradient panel here. There we go. And I'll change this from linear to radial. And just zoom in here. There we go. I can go to the gradient tool and just go like this. You see, I have a different look now. Oh, pretty. Okay, so I'll make a big one here. And hold down my Alt key and make a smaller one here. So now, I'll select these two and go to my Blend Tool and I'll just do this in the center. And you see, you can blend gradients also. Okay, so that's it for the Blend Tool. Thanks a lot. Bye!